Hey you guys, today we are going to talk about the signs you need to be looking for if you need to quit your job, okay? <laughs> so, the first things first, if you know that there is not an opportunity for growth, then you need to be looking elsewhere. Now, a lot of us here on this channel, we have been following the carrot, if you will. And someone's telling you, oh, yeah, if you do this, I'm going to promote you. Or if you do that, just train this person and you'll get, prom you'll get promoted. And then you never get recognized. That is a surefire sign that this is not the place for you. The other thing you need to be considering, you guys, is ethical complications. Meaning, is the company, are they operating in an ethical way? Do they follow their own rules? Because I know personally for me, the situation I was dealing with, I was like, okay, this is in the handbook and you guys are doing what you say you shouldn't be doing and what I shouldn't be doing. And that's when you get to document, okay? So make sure that you are documenting everything, especially, you know, print those copies up of that of that handbook and just have it on, on deck if you ever need to reach out to an employment attorney, okay? So the other thing too, you guys, is it's all about how you feel. If you are not feeling that job anymore, you know, our taste, our taste changes. Okay. So I'll give an example. Um, you go, I go in my closet sometimes. Oftentimes I visit my closet once a year and say, Hey, I have not worn this in over a year or, you know, this doesn't fit right. This doesn't get, give me the feeling that I used to have when I used to put this on, you know? So just like you want to be wearing clothes that make you feel good. You want to be going to a job that makes you feel good. And if that passion is gone. Then why are you there? Okay, and then the other issue, you guys, is leadership. Oftentimes, leadership, you already know. If the management is toxic, you need to be looking elsewhere for employment because, again, it goes back to the first thing we talked about. People making promises that they don't keep and also people having rules in place that they don't follow. So if you're noticing toxicity, they're looking the other way, turning a blind eye towards workplace bullying, abuse, and mobbing, harassment, discrimination, all those things that are illegal, you guys, you know you need to be looking elsewhere. And the biggest thing, you guys, is your mental health. I've sh that's what my 501c3 is all about. It is a charity that raises money for people to get the mental health care they need because whenever you have dealt with workplace bullying, abuse, and mobbing, it does a toll on your soul. It does a toll on your mental health. And that manifests into physical ailments in the body. And it's just not worth it. So you start seeing little signs. You start seeing people gossiping. You start seeing people, this doggy dog. You're not trying to be a part of that. Keep to yourself. Do your job to the best of your ability. Follow all the techniques here on this channel. And if you, for whatever, whatever reason, you're not, you don't have the passion, you're not getting the support, you need to be looking elsewhere. You should be changing jobs every couple of years anyway. That's the issue that a lot of people in my age bracket get caught up in. Now, see, these kids, I don't want to call them kids, but these young men and women in like my children's bracket, age bracket, the Gen Zs and, and such, they, they don't stay places long. You know, and so we need to understand that the loyalty is not there the way it used to be. Like our mothers and fathers, their generation, it's not there anymore. And that's what we in the middle got caught up because we're, you know, the loyalty thing. We're like, oh my God, I'm going to be like my mom and dad. No, <laughs> you don't, we don't, we don't have that kind of world anymore. So if you're, if you're lucky enough to work for a job that is supportive of you, that, that, that takes care of you in terms of your mental health and your work life balance, then by all means, I mean, stay. But when you start seeing little things that aren't, you know, making you want to get up in the morning to go someplace, then you need to be looking elsewhere. So I hope this information helps someone out there. And if you were ever trying to consider whether or not you need to, to, to stay or leave, hopefully this video has helped you out. Until next time, I'm Kristen Peoples of BossofCulture.org. Bye.